Hey YouTube, so I'm back and we are going to carry on with our Unity game tutorial to create our awesome game. So, if you've been following the tutorial, we have the following game. It zooms in, we can move backwards and forwards with poor moving, which we are going to fix later in this tutorial. We have our model there of Deathstroke and we have a wall, but if we go to this side, oh, wrong side, if we go this side, very slowly there we have our terrain with mountains around the side and trees which we can't see properly so first we are well something I forgot to show was we can fire by pressing E but as you can see if I spam E button it will just keep firing and firing and they will last forever so if we built a whole game and we just didn't fix this it, the bullets will get very light start to lag your computer and not be very good for computers so we are going to fix that which shouldn't take that long and then after we're going to fix the movement code so we can rotate so to start um, go to your scripts folder and create a new script javascript and call it something along the lines bullets destroy yes and open that up and when you get it up instead of writing in the function update and function start simply delete the field update and in the start change it to awake yeah um, in the function awake um, you sim we simply type destroy which is what we use to destroy objects later we'll be using it to destroy enemies and stuff open our bracket, want to destroy this game object, simply type game object and then if we put a comma and put um, a number or a variable we can choose how long after it's awoke to destroy it so basically, let me explain this again because I did a bad explanation as soon as an object appears in the game whatever script is attached to it on function awake will activate whatever codes inside the awake function yeah so we want it to destroy it we want to destroy this game object and if we put a number after here say nine close the bracket and semicolon it will destroy it nine seconds after so uh, if we make it easier to so we don't have to keep opening it so we can vary the um, length of before it's destroyed if we press enter here and create a new variable by var call it something like bullet life and then make this equal 10 seconds semicolon it copy this bullet life and replace it here now it will always go back to this bullet life to see where it is and the reason we've done this is if we go back to unity and wait for it to update it well it doesn't want to update it. Save. There we are. So once it's updated, we need to find our bullet, which was in our prefab. It doesn't like destroy. Oh, I've put destroy. That's why. D E S T Roy. That's it. Like that. Make sure you spell destroy right, yes, yeah, so when it works, that's it. We go back to our prefab, and we need to find our fireball. If we drag it into the scene, it, we don't need to worry about the scene view, but more of the inspector. If we drag the bullet destroy on it, there, whenever this bullet appears, it will look straight for function awake, and whatever's inside there, it'll do it, which we want to destroy after 10 seconds, so it makes it easier to change it. So now if we drag that fireball back into the prefab, delete it at our scene and play. Now we should spam E, wait 10 seconds and watch it go pop, pop, pop. There we are, pop, 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 pop. And now we won't lag and make our computer probably break from the game so, yeah so next we are going to work on our movement code because um, if you haven't noticed you can't ret rotate so you can't see your full map it is I've been looking at it and if we open it up it is an easy fix so 
I'm going to explain this if you don't want to see this skip ahead about I don't know just skip ahead until you see me start writing really but it's really easy to understand the var speed equals that is basically creating a new variable called speed which is going to be a float which is basically an integer but with more added options and that equals six speed in unity units whatever that is jump speed is basically how high it jumps but it's called speed for some reason yeah so same as above and gravity that's the force which it has which is 20 at the moment next we have a private variable which you do simply by typing private you also have static like so normal var is only available to this script yeah private is only available to the area you put it in so if i had to put that private in this if statement here it is only be available in that if statement and static is open to your whole project so you can call it between levels or different scripts um, function update calls it every frame like animation which you know create a new variable contr called controller it's got no reference it's literally just a name then it's going to be the type of a character controller so it gives our uh, object the ability to be controlled and it equals um, the it gets a component from the object it's attached to and it wants to access the character controller which is if we click our main character which is there we have a character controller right there so it wants to access this so it knows how to move it just has to next we have an if statement which is I think I've explained but if not it's basically if something happens or is true or something then continue what's in here you can also make it if it's false continue but in this case we have if the controller is grounded which basically means if it's touching the floor or he's not moving or flying through air then um, as you can see in the notes which you do simply by pressing two slashes it is grounded so recalculate as if we it says off the website um, yeah so move direction directly from the axis oh, I never explained move direction move direction is just a name private variable so it's available to only this script at all nothing else and it is a vector 3 which is basically that so you can go that way like that you that way or that way that is vector 3 one two three three axis um, and it, it will be vector 3 equals 0 which I think is the middle of the character which will be right there so that's what that means so we are grounded move direction directly from the axis yeah so it moves it from the middle of the character and this one is if that move the right change that move direction to vector 3 which is 3 axis it currently goes horizontal if the input it pressed down is get the axis of horizontal then it should move horizontal which it does but we don't want that we want it to rotate instead but we'll change that in a minute um, the zero one that is what it goes up and down on the y-axis so if we change the horizontal to there it would fly in the air and stuff if we got rid of if grounded obviously um, and that if we move that back up there like that I'm not just since change I'll put it back in a minute but that's what that's the last one it is forward and backwards so if the axis is vertical which is up and down it moves backwards and forwards next it wants to change move direction to a transform which accesses the transform so it can be moved rotated or scaled and then it changes tra its transform direction to move direction which is there so it should move it on the middle of the character where whichever direction it's facing so the move direction is times equals speed so it's whatever speed the speed is um, also we have another if statement if the input which is the pressed one get the button which is known as jump which is default is set in unity which I think is edit uh, project settings input 
as you can see if we untick axis we have a load already coded so if we go to jump it is default in owner's space um, vertical that's up and down fire one is left control and stuff like that you can change these and you, we could also just put right space in there it would work the exact same except we'd have to change the button to key so yeah um, move direction so if the inputs press jump is pressed then move directions y axis will be equal equals jump speed so it'll move up on the y axis so once that's ended um, apply gravity to it so this wants to apply double gravity because we also have a rigid body so it must be stronger or something it basically changes the move directions y axis to minus the gravity and times it by time delta time which is for every second or frame in unity so it like spaces it out in like 10 frames as a second or something move to controller is moving the actual controller variable which is that one so they move the character controller and we want it to dot move by the move direction times time dot delta time which is every 10 frames or so yeah so to, this is a simple fix which is um, first we have to create a new variable var and we'll call it rotate speed then we'll make it a float and it will equal well, three three for now let's we'll see if that works now that one's done um, we go back to where it says move direction equals vector three down here and we will move this input lot get axis horizontal control x that and add a zero in its place and two more. so once we've added a zero add another zero after it so it makes sure it looks zero zero and it says input axis vertical which means we don't want it to do anything on the x axis nothing on the y axis but only on the z axis so it moves forward and backwards and after that we enter a couple of times and press slash twice to create notes and we'll just call this rotate code and beneath that um, type we want to transform so change the transform of the character to uh, rotate change the rotate dot transform yeah so open our bracket we don't want it to do nothing on the x-axis but because we're changing the rotate of it this time we paste in the input axis so it rotates on the y-axis and then we want to times that by our rotate speed which is here so if we just paste that in like so add another comma and add a zero because we don't want to edit the z-axis so close the bracket and semicolon now I believe that should work yeah and if we click play again click it we should be able to rotate there we are now, as you can see we can now have a proper look around our map however the camera is a bit low so if we unpause it on play um, go back to our main camera scroll down to the smooth follow script and change the height to hmm, 10 distance to 15 so the height is basically if I come here where's the main camera double click there the height is how high it is from your character and the distance is how far away it is um, the height damping is how when you rotate your character or something or jump it's how fast it follows you so like if I jump and then it'll wait two milliseconds or something then slowly follow so it looks smooth and same with rotation so now if we play it it should look a lot better we can proper look round the height's way too high though so if we change the height back to five and play we should be able to have a nice C of our character like so there we go we can proper see our map now our lovely lovely map and um, they will do that just because it's how close we are it's to save um, rendering issues and stuff but that's bad can't see nowhere there but um, yeah so that's it for this tutorial um, I don't know how long it is, don't know how short it is, but oh well. For the next tutorial we will 
change our character, make give him a better suit, download a model, make him look like Deathstroke or something. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and see you next time.